Hi guys, I'm Alessandra and lately I've been thrifting quite a lot. So, I thought I would show you some of the things I got during the past month. We are currently in a lockdown in Greece because of the pandemic and we can't go out and do our regular things. Everything I'm going to be showing you today is from Depop and here is everything I got from Depop. Yeah! I'm going to be starting off with a jacket. This was in my last video as well, in my closet clean out. I bought it early October, so it's very warm. It has this faux fur lining on the inside and it has a faux sweat on the outside and it's perfect for winter. Um, the color scheme is more on the autumn side. I've worn it a couple of times already and it's currently one of my favorite jackets. No, it's my favorite jacket currently. Well. This is the only jacket I own currently. I don't even have a leather jacket currently. But I should get a leather jacket. I should. Okay. I don't know. Originally, it's from Stradivarius, which is a fast fashion brand. I don't buy fast fashion anymore. Oh god, that was so warm. It gives me such Dark Academia vibes, which Dark Academia is my favorite aesthetic currently. So, yeah, I got this second hand from Depop, so you should get it on Depop. Moving on, I have a coat. This is it. Can you see it? I'm going to fall off the bed. Okay. This is it. Originally, it's from Zara. Again, it has very dark academia vibes. It's quite warm. I like the fact that it's just a tiny bit too big for me. I usually don't like things with shoulder pads. I may be getting them off. I've worn it a couple of times and it's quite long. Okay, let's move on. I realized that I don't have a lot of shoes. <laughs> the shoes that I have are quite versatile, but thing is I've gotten tired of wearing the same shit over and over again for years, so I need some new shoes. So I got not one, but two pairs of boots. This is the first one. These are so cute. They're completely black. They have a heel and they have a zipper. I really shouldn't be wearing shoes on top of my bed. They don't have any defects except for this one. This one has some scratches on the side but I don't mind. I also got a pair of brown boots. I don't own any pair of brown boots that can be basically matched with half my wardrobe so I needed a pair of that and I got one. <laughs> First of all they are very comfortable. They're a bit big but they're just half a size big. It's good because I can wear them with big socks and it won't feel or look weird and I think they're very cute. Let me tell you something, I got these two pairs from the same girl for 10 euros and she paid the shipping. That was a fucking steal. Okay. Lastly, I have some books that I have. I'm starting off with the one I got first. This is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I already read this one. You're following this girl, Esther, as her story unfolds and she is a young adult and she's trying to find her passions in life and also a man. It's taking place in the 80s, I think? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Um, half the book I was kind of bored and then like the other half I did not expect one bit. It did a full 180 and it was just very interesting to read. Now, let me say something. This is not a spoiler for the book. Well, it kind of is, but at the same time, it's not really because I'm not saying anything. Suicide warning. If you get triggered by mental health easily, don't read it. But if you don't, then you should definitely give it a read because it's very interesting, especially the second half of the book. I gave it, I think, a three or a four on Goodreads. Next. I just realized, okay, I just realized how bad my posture has been throughout this whole video. I remember how big this book got on social media and in general, so I really wanted to give it a try, but I could never find it available anywhere, because it's a New York Times bestseller, and it's Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. I read this book, I will not be giving you my thoughts and opinions on this one, because I'm thinking of making a full review of it. Let me just say one thing, let me... This is what you get. It's really pretty, that's all I want to say. It's really aesthetically pleasing and that's all I'm going to be saying for now because I'm thinking of doing a review. Next, I got The Ring by Koji Suzuki. I hope I pronounced that right. I haven't done any research on how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry if that was wrong. This is what the book looks like. I will tell you now that I did one day 
wake up in the middle of the night to have some water and I saw the book on my bed stand right here and it scared the shit out of me for a second and then I remember that it's a book I will probably be doing a review on this one as well I would really like to so I'm going to say that it's a nice read and you should read it it's really interesting I have three more books that I haven't read next I got The Ten of the Screw by Henry James. This is the Greek version. Ah, uh, I should mention that The Ring was in Greek, Milk and Honey and The Bell Jar by Silva Plath I read in English. This one is also in Greek. I haven't read it yet, I am very excited to read it. I've had compelling opinions. It seems to be very interesting, especially the abstract on the back. So yeah, I'm very happy to read that one. What well, it's Next, I got a book that I've been wanting to read for quite some time. I just, when I was in a bookstore, I would always forget to look for it. It's 12 Years a Slave by Solomon Northup. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. I mean, I don't see how else it would be pronounced. But if I didn't pronounce it correctly, I am sorry. And I didn't mean to offend anyone. First of all, the book itself has very big letters, so it's going to be very easy to read it. I think it's very important to educate yourself as much as you can on matters like slavery and feminism and, you know, social problems. And to read books that talk about subjects like that. I will probably be doing a review of this one when I read it. I'm really excited for this one. So. Yeah. And finally, the last book that I got is The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Kaur. I only read like a couple of pages, like maybe 30 pages. It seems to be interesting. It also seems to be better than The Sun and Her Flowers. No, well, it also seems to be better than Milk and Honey. So I got this book, this book, this book this book and why did i do it the wrong way and this book i got all these five books plus shipping for 28 euros and the bell jar i think i got for four euros i'm not sure so these are all the things i got during the past month also i forgot to mention some of the prices this coat i got for 20 euros and this one i got for 30. I didn't pay shipping on the coat, but I did pay shipping for this jacket. Wait. I just realized on the back of the collar it has leather. I hadn't seen that before. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that was everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Goodbye! Can I like bounce one book on my head? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck. Okay, I should now say that I have my coffee on my bed. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And if that book falls, it may fall onto the coffee and I may spill my coffee on my bed. Fuck. Okay, oh my god, that was so hard. Someone's on their balcony. Please don't see me. Okay, they didn't see me. Okay. Um, ow. Ow.